What's going on, fantasy entertainer, the motivator, the educator, Lucky Murray, back with another high school football update today. Like I said, I am at Woodruff versus Fountain as Woodruff goes on the board for the first uh, score of the game. It was 3 0. It was actually a three hour delay. It was Thunder Lightning. The game was supposed to start at uh, about two and a half hours delay. The game was supposed to start at uh, 7 30. I got there at 6 30. I left at 8 30. Came back at 9 for the game. So it was a running clock. Woodruff right here, man. There's not a lot to say about this game as Woodruff scores a touchdown, uh, makes it 9 0. But the one thing that I could say about Fountain Inn that has to work when you're playing these bigger and stronger teams, you're not going to be able to. It's a lot of things you can't do. As the quarterback throws it out in almost interception, I, I kept hearing the crowd, well, why the coach keep running the same play? Why he keep running up the middle? Well, you got to understand in football, there's some things as number one uh, tries to go down. And as you can see, it's not going anywhere. This right here was probably something that I, I, I saw. I saw, um, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm definitely going to support as number one, get some room. This is going to be a work in progress where Coach Nicholson will have to do it at Fountain Inn. Uh, you got to grow this program. There's nothing you can do about it. As the quarterback three looks at the ball and it gets tipped, almost interception. But there's nothing you can really do because this is particularly a JV team. As number 13 tries to run the ball but gets stuffed by Woodruff number seven. And Woodruff team, like I said, they beat a really good Chapman team last week. Um, as they run the ball and look at Fountain Inn put up some fight. That was a nice uh, tackle. But as you can see, if you watch the game, it was at the game last night. That's a beautiful pass from number the quarterback. And I listen, number four made an awesome catch. This is this is like I said before, Fountain Inn really could not stop them either passing or throwing the ball. As you see, the jet sweep. And it goes down Fountain Inn secondary. And that's where Woodruff spent most of the time in the secondary. As number 20 runs up and down, beats all the fury to the touchdown. That made the score, I believe it was not, it was um, 17 to 0 at this time. So Fountain Inn is looking to try to put the ball on the on, on the field, uh, try to keep the offense on and in the game for a long term as you can see fumble the snap and Woodruff recovers again and 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 that's things you cannot have when it comes to just as a football team you cannot allow um that to happen as Woodruff tries to score and and credit the fountain in they almost stopped them but on fourth down as you can see with time running out number 15 drops backs and throw the ball and it's a touchdown <laughs> at halftime. That's something that you cannot uh, do as well. So that made it, like I said, 23 to zero. Fountain then need something going. We need to do something with the ball. And as you can see, second half, fatigue kicks in. The offensive line uh, doesn't block as very well. You don't get a whole lot of traction going and if and if a team that really can't throw and really can't run there's not a whole lot you can do as fountain in is just trying to do anything uh but they had a few breaks they had a nice uh uh, uh kickoff return they also had a muffled punt but fountain in was not able to to capitalize on that as the final score is zero to 31 but let me know what you think about this in the comment section below. Again, it's the entertainer, the motivator, the educator. And please don't forget all three. Lucky Murray, back with another high school football update. We're talking. We're talking. Woodruff versus Fountain. Let me know what you think about this in the comment section below. Black always. It's the next time, people.